Inflation and recessions don't always go hand in hand. What it depends on is the underlying shock. So if the shock is a impulse to demand, typically what we see is a period of deflation and recession. If the underlying shock is to supply, then that's when we see this very troublesome combination of high prices and low economic activity. This is sometimes called stagflation and it poses a very particular problem for policymakers. At the heart of this prospective recession is this international shock to energy prices stemming from the war in Ukraine and other economies will be affected depending on their reliance on imported energy. But then there are also UK specific components that I think exacerbate the problem. Brexit and the severity of the pandemic. So my co-authors and I have tried to understand the frankly dismal history of British recessions over the past three centuries. The good news is that recessions are much less frequent today than at other periods in UK history. So in the 18th century there was a recession roughly every other year. Since World War II there's been about one recession per decade, so the frequency has really fallen over time. The bad news is when recessions do occur, they are just as costly. Whenever recession looms, people wonder about the shape of recessions. And our research suggests that the typical recession evolves in a tick shape with a contraction of one year and a recovery to the pre-recession level of two years. So there's a, a short downswing and then a kind of longer recovery. 